Monday night, 9 to 11. The best thing to do with your Monday night, in case you ain't know. Now you know. Now you know. Because if you don't, it's going to hit like the old school. If you don't yeah. know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. If yeah. you don't know, now you know. Well, I'm Duke Desdome. It's your girl, Tony Dominique. How have you been, Duke? Duke? Uh, I've been good. I've been good. I had a good weekend. Pretty fulfilled weekend, you know. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Well, let's start it out. Let's see. Uh, how did it start the top of the weekend before the weekend was started? When, didn't somebody break something? Did somebody? That was not the top of my weekend. That was still during the week. I know. But that was what, a Thursday, and I right? thought we was talking about you. How you just going to jump oh, so in we gonna, on so we me? Gonna out, we going to work our way Thursday. into Thursday. So we can go through each day together. Right, so Thursday would happen Thursday. Prep football. Thursday was football day for my for my men. And okay. yes, my freshman broke his arm or his wrist. Okay. So how long do you expect it to have to be out? Four to six weeks. Okay. Um so then Friday come and I had a good day at work Friday. Mm-hmm. Very good day. Um and Saturday. Well, before we get to Saturday, did you do anything Friday? Friday. Uh, yes. Oh, my what God. Friday, Friday was like a horrible day. Following Thursday, Friday was a horrible day, too. Okay. Um, I had a meeting with a client, which all was going good. And then um, my keys disappeared to my car. I was stuck on the West End for five really? hours. Well, how did you find them? I didn't. Someone had to come and make me a whole new key. Wow, so you had to go get a whole new set of keys of everything? Yes. Wow. So all important and keys is the house key and, and the car key. And it cost me a million dollars. It cost you a whole lot just to get the ignition yes. key? Yes. You had to go to the, to the No, uh, I was stuck. I couldn't, dealer? I couldn't go nowhere. I'm saying, but somebody had to bring you to the dealer or could they cut a key somewhere? Nope. They came and got a piece of my um car or ignition? whatever. No, like it's, it's another little key space in my car. Okay. So they came and took that, took it to their shop, cut it up, brought it back. But before, I thought my keys was, like, maybe in my car. So I called somebody else to come open my car. Okay. And then I had, it wasn't in there, so I had to call another person to come make me. So a where were you at on the West End? Where were you at? Um, where was it? It was, like, it's, I'm I'm not West End material because I don't really be over there like that. Okay. But it's, like. We're not going to get into what is West End material because it's just too <laughs> Well, it was, like, the, the, the gingerfied area for sure. Okay. And, uh, We're gentrified area. Y- 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 Not gentrified? Gentrified. Okay, cool. Gentrified. All right. Um, area for sure. But um, I don't know. It was like White Street or whatever. I, I really don't know where I'm I was. saying. Well, I'm not saying like the street, but like what, what store were you at? What were you oh, doing per se? I was meeting a client. A client has a wedding over in that area. And okay. she's having it at a brewery over there. Okay. And so we were touring the space to get ready for her wedding. And after everything was done, <coughs> we actually had like free beer from the brewery and everything. Oh, that's what got so you. That's so somewhere in the free, me. somewhere in the free beer. That's not what got me because I only drink one. That's all I mean. You're a lightweight. All you need is I'm one. Definitely not a lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> one next thing you know. Ah, who did keys? Don't tell people how you act. Uh, I'm we just don't saying. Know that. Tongue all out, arm all in the air. Ah, who did keys? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. No, it was really chill. It was really, really, really cool. And then it went downhill from there. So I really got stuck over there for like hours. Wow. That was that's a terrible. And that's like I'm pretty sure in the evening, right? Or was that early morning? So I got over there to meet them at like one thirty. Oh, so you ain't leave until like four. I ain't no, I ain't get home till like nine. Oh, that's terrible. That's such a bad day on a Friday too. On a Friday, my whole after a day. moment like that, I t- when I had when I encounter those type of moments in life, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna blunt and sex. I just wanna be relieved of stress and just kind of just kick back, like you know. I just feel like the day has taken over. It won, you know. I didn't conquer the day. No, it won. And I just want to be relieved. I just want somebody to care about me. You know what I'm saying? I had, you know? I, I so mean, I, I, was, well, I was just really Some type of libation and some level of re- form of relaxation. I was just okay. really sad. For a reason, you didn't deliver no one for that last one. 
you too optimistic right now. You're being too, totally too optimistic. So are you saying right there was now. something going on in my past that had I needed so, to sit there for five okay, hours? Okay, because if you'd have went home, you probably would saw never, something. You never know. You would have caught the oldest boy probably with the really little, you know, right, I don't right, know. Out of all the things to come up that I could have went through, you, you got to put on my kids? Well, I'm just, you know, they're at that age. You know what no, I'm saying? It might leave, be. Let my kids, leave my kids alone. I don't never say nothing about Cheek Cheek. So don't Good. be all up in my but kids. But she had, she had that age not on that level, but she had that age on some other shit too, like. I told her she can't get her hair done like her whole vibe was t- throw off. <laughs> like, not, I just, it wasn't just that you can't get it done, no point blank. It was just not right now. But her standard is whenever I think it needs to be done. That's how I, yeah, if she feel like, you know what I'm saying? When you feel, when you look good, you feel good. So if she feels she needs to look good, then you need to make sure she look good so she I, feel good. I get it, but sometimes, you know, the bank account don't say the same. The bank account says you got to go and struggle, rock them struggle braids. Uh, work hard. A little extra. About another six days. Work harder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you she, know, she need to be right. But I get it though. Now I totally understand. Um, but now that sounds like a terrible Friday. That's a terrible way to exp- you know have a Friday. Um, but you recovered Saturday. So what was Saturday like for you? Uh, what did I do on Saturday? I don't know. I don't remember. It's kind of what I'm asking. What did you do? What did you do on Friday? We can go uh, over your Thursday okay. or your Friday. Thursday. Back at why um, I think about this. Thursday I was working. Um, well, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Thursday I worked early at the shop, and then I went, <coughs> I went to do some comedy. Um, here at my man's spot, Black Ass Tim, he got a spot, brewery, the brew house on Moreland Avenue, um, Little Five Points off of Euclid. Well, not off of Euclid, but right across the street from Euclid. So I did that Thursday. Um, what else? Friday, really was just a long day on the, at the shop, so, but it was a good day, so that was good. Saturday was al- oh, also Saturday. Saturday was also another long day. Um, Saturday was Saturday's normally a long day. So, but outside of the shop, I went and did some comedy late on that night. Um, went to some networking, went to another spot or whatnot. But I still got out the shop pretty late. But you know, I was able to go do some networking and whatnot. So, got it. My Saturday, it was it was cool. Um, that was my movie premiere day. So I was kind of ripping and running earlier that day, just kind of handling the normal everyday <laughs> Saturday stuff. Clap it up. And then um, I had my premiere for my, you know, first little first movie of, of yeah, many. Don't put the little in there. Take that out of there. The first of many movies pre- premiere. She did that. What was the role? So I played the popo. The popo. I was the five and police. O. I was five oh. But I was a nice cop, you know what I'm saying? I was a real nice concerned cop. So when that comes out, um it's a Maverick original, one of the apps that you find on like your Amazon sticks and all the other good stuff like that. So when that actually hits, um, y'all gotta go check it out. Okay, cool. And that's uh domestic warfare. Mm-hmm. You know, she plays the popo. The popo. You know. Uh mm-hmm. she was the super cool cop. You know, maybe the cop that probably didn't arrest you if you only had a blunt on you. <laughs> you know the Atlanta clock cop. Yeah. So, you know, um, you know, shout out to them. And you say this was this was produced and written by who? Who was it like produced uh, and writing? It was written by Renee Peoples. Okay. Um, and they are a husband and wife duo, Bobby and Renee Peoples. They have the Peoples Network. Um, and they're doing a lot for the um, film industry, independent film industry. They're giving a lot of people chances that may not have no any chances to really do some things. And, you know, they're really cool. They're really funny. Um, and once you work with them, they kind of just bring you in as family. So it's, it's a really good experience. Okay, cool. Do y'all, do y'all have space in your family for ad- adopting them? Uh, you know? Um, go up there and see if you okay. fit in. If well, you I, mess. I think I could just throw, throw my... Just, just walk into the cookout and see, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Just fall in, just get a plate, just start making a plate. Yeah. Okay, if they cool. don't kick you I, out, then you're good. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to hug the big lady with the little arms that's sitting there, everybody huddling, congregating around her. I know she's important. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Every time you go to black environment, establishment, kickback, anything. If they got the lady with the arms and everybody's huddled around her, they're asking her stuff, asking her a lot of questions, Q&A type shit going on. You know, she, she's important. So definitely hug her, give her a nice little smooch on the cheek, and she's going to pretty much, you know, be forth, forward with you and be like, baby, did you eat something? She going to make sure you feed Yeah, them. man. This, it's like they just don't make them. Like, why? what happened? Y'all don't care we eat no more? Y'all working so hard, y'all don't care that we eat no more. As long as them kids eat. See, that's what they feel. As long as them kids eat, my kids straight. As long 
Yeah. Well, them kids yeah, gonna get older. Babies good. They gonna get older. Well, when they, they gonna, get older, and they gonna then be it's gone. Time to make sure you eat. Oh, it's just too late. I'm gone too. When they graduate, I graduate too. I'm out of here. We're gone. Then my house quiet and clean. You can't, this is too much house. You don't need all this house. I need I need the whole house. So, but um, nah, man, you know, y'all, that's that's good that you got that going on. Um, hopefully the next project I could be a part of. I would like to be a part of that. So I need I to know, talk to these people. Because you didn't, you were you were supposed to be my plus one and you ain't show up. Yeah, I did. I was crying I, in the corner. Uh, I had to gather myself together. Uh, I was so mad. It's so terrible. But um. Yeah, that's good that you did that, and um, I'm proud of you. Continue to, to strive. Now, do you plan on taking any classes or anything? Do you plan on perfecting the craft of, of acting, or do you feel like you're natural? You're just going to work off of just sheer instinct and natural ability and your connections? How are you going to go about this? Uh, well, both, I guess. I, I certainly feel like I'm a natural, um, but... Um, I'm not against taking classes and learning because, I mean, only a fool would take something that, you know, and not learn to make make themselves better. I can't say that I know everything. I don't know, you know, half of the film industry. You know, there's people that have been out there for years and years and years. They know the ins and outs because acting is not just talent. It's also a business mind that you have to have. Um, and so I would definitely take some classes or something like that, try some things out, see what happens, follow some things, find some mentors. Do you, um, do you feel like in your standard of, how you're going to do business and do the craft of acting. Do you feel like there's a certain scene role or anything type casting that you just won't allow yourself to do? Or are you willing to take it to whatever extent within the role and respect for yourself? Like some women won't do a sex scene. Some women won't do a naughty scene or the, the so you know, I don't know that a certain I wouldn't image. Do, do you care about that that much? I, I definitely do care about my image. I don't know that I would do... Um, there's something that's like, oh, no, I, I won't do. As long as it's not, I'm not really into, like, the real, real ghetto hood type thing because I just okay. don't think that's me. I guess it could be something I could portray as in a character, but I just don't like those particular films myself personally. So I probably so the City Girl vibe, you, if they came about, a role came about, they need you to play a City Girl-esque type person, like um, the ratchet cousin that come to the suburbs. It it depends because the ratchet cousin that comes to the server isn't like she comes to she don't live there she just come there she I, really don't even want to be there but when she comes she brings such a sauce I, they ain't never really seen in a while I get that but I'm saying like th there's a different way to do it like if it's like really really like that um you know that late night video type uh -oh. acting type scene uh -oh. then I probably won't do those type of things like that's not gonna be you know something that I'm gonna put on my to do list. But I don't mind, like, portraying, like, you know, who a ghetto person, just not a degrading. Okay, I ghetto. got you. I see what you're saying. <laughs> um, I think for me, for acting, I'm willing to do all things as long as it, it, it's not homosexual. You know what I'm saying? So I play any role. No, no, I'm not, because I think I could be funny without it. I don't feel like the dress is going to make me funny or not. If you need someone in the dress, I know a lot of comedians that are okay with that. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of gay comedians. Like, my thing is... You know, Wanda was funny, and, you know, Shanae and all that was funny. But realistically, you could have wrote those roles for gay gay, gay comedians who would have played that. Mm -hmm. And it probably would have still been funny, if not funny, because they could fully commit to, the, that's him, that's them. You see what I'm saying? Like, man playing woman, it's like, when do we find, when do we see the role where a woman plays a man, and emulate man, and we'd be like, that's funny. You'd be like, man, get out of here. It ain't really funny. That's why you don't see those roles. You don't see woman play man. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe in some skits on SNL or something crazy like that or whatnot. But when do you see woman play man or your top comedian woman playing man? You follow what I'm saying? But it's just so hilarious when you see man play woman. Why? Like the, you know, like the what's the dude that opened up the craft place? The, the Quay. I'm like, I'm like, is he gay? Is he really? Is that his style? I don't know. He, he plays it so well. I don't know. So now my question was like. Why a woman can't play that? Why I think, I think a woman can play that role extremely well. You see what I'm saying? So, but it seems like when man plays that role, it's something about the energy of that people like it. I just don't find it, you know, hilariously funny. It, you know, it's like you're just playing the gay ratchet individual, and it's like you know, I know a lot of ratchet chicks that play that well. So you know, for me, I don't, I wouldn't want to play. I wouldn't feel comfortable wanting to even try to, even, you know, get into that. Um, but typecast. I have no problem with, you know, if you think I could be a gangster, the rapper, the whatever, 
A typecast? Typecast me the first five movies. It's cool. <laughs> Give me that money. Whatever gets the coins, right? Yeah, because my whole thing is independence anyway. So, you know, once I get what I feel I need as far as that go, I, I want to do my own thing. So if you feel like you need to typecast me, I know what I can write out for myself, or I know what writers can put down based off my creative flow, and we can put something together where I can really show my best life. So, you know, have you view me, that's how you view me. If you're going to cut the check and I feel like that's what I need for my circumstance, I make that decision, but I'm not going to do nothing degrading to What are some um, roles that you're like, look, these some things I really want to try? Um, non-comic comedic roles. Like, I feel like I can play serious roles real well, you know, like that coach that just never let up on you or, you know, the... the I certain like realistic roles, like I think you know, like the stepdad that stepped in and helped raise the the woman because he found out he couldn't have kids, or maybe a previous accident, his wife and his kid got killed, and he meets this woman. You say he never get married again, but he married a woman with multiple kids, and you know he was just like, wow, you know, what I mean? he never viewed himself like I think about those roles because I was raised by a stepfather, and I think about who I would have been if he wasn't there, still having a father, still having somewhat of that same experience, but what if that wouldn't who you know so. You know, and then I deal with a lot of young kids, you know, you know, cutting their hair and just talking to them. And even though they have fathers, a lot of times they don't still get real good quality conversation out of their parents. So they come and have it with me so that it allows my perspective to broaden. Okay, Daddy you Duke, we see you. So, but, um, you know, just different roles. I, I want to challenge myself creatively. So I'm a comedic, at, a comedian at heart, you know, and uh, tapping into the craft of comedy is great, but I definitely would like to uh, get into something probably more serious. I have three main roles that I think I want to, like, try out. Um, the first one is um, I want to be, like, a lounge singer. Like, I always want to do, like, some old school, like, 20s-type lounge Oh, okay, roles. like that. I think okay. those are, like, really, really Where it's just you, fun. the spotlight, and all the lights are dim, everybody's And you got, like, a little, a little band in the background. Oh, a little band, a little singing. keyboard guy. Yeah. Okay. Like, I think those roles are really, really cool, maybe because I like those type of movies. I like watching those movies. Okay. Um, I also want to do, like, an urban legend type deal. Like, I want to be like, you know, say when there's like a lot of killing going on and nobody knows it's me and I'm the killer. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> I feel like okay. that'll be really, really Like really the really innocent fun. little one that, 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 that was yeah. unassuming? Yeah. The unassuming innocent one. <laughs> I got you. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I would also like to do a psycho. You know what I'm saying? Because growing up, I remember uh, in school, the teachers say write about famous you people. You know what type of role I want to see you do? What? I want to see you do a role like a radio. Like an autistic Yes. I think I could do it. I thought about that, too. I, I actually thought about that. that. I actually That'd thought cool. about that. I thought but about anyway, that. we could talk about that all day. We're going to get into our the whole point of the show. We're a radio show up in here. So we're going to play our first song. It is She Devil Ooh. by Tyler Universe. We lit! She really want a nigga and she had the lonely Man, she fucked my head up Got me still tripping All this lean that I've been sipping I'm flipping Understanding what's the point of your existence Girl, shorty, got a nigga. We all back in the kitchen Going 
gon' ride around like a roller coaster. Nigga in the stomach, cause I ain't get the closer. I ain't even get a chance to hold a little closer. Now my heart's stuck and I feel like kinda frozen. Going back and forth like tug of war. Stab me in my heart, now my feelings on the floor. What you did to me hurt me to the core. I can't fall in love no more. If y'all are watching on the live stream or whatever, hit me up with some fires if y'all think that was lit. Yeah, y'all let us know how y'all feel about don't that. Don't be um, scared now. I was rocking. I was rocking know. with it. Like it ain't it ain't bother me. Like I, you know, it's one of the ones that was playing in the background. We was having a little sidebar conversation, and it ain't bother me. But then when I started tuning in, I was like, the voice. It seems like he got to get his maybe his mixing down or something of that nature. But you know, it, it was cool. I cool. I, I could rock with it. So you liked it, but you don't like it. It ain't about, it was, I can't say it was lit, but it was tolerable. You know what I'm saying? The track, the vibe, but it's like, the, the, the voice didn't seem like it was quite. So it was like the ash with a little smoke sick. Yeah. It's ashing out. Thump it out. It's yeah, thump ashing it out. out. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, so oh nah, I mean, goodness. you know, I, I give it a lit. I give it a lick because it wasn't annoying. Like, when I say something is just not lit, it's to the point where turn that, that shit off. That ain't how this go. I mean, it either needs to be good, bad, or all right. It can't be, nah, it, oh, no, I gave it no, a lick. No, it's not it called good, bad, or all right. It's called lit or nah. So that's what it is. It ain't good, bad, or all right. Well, it's, it's lit or nah. So, you tell so it, I give it a lick. So you tell, it's lit if it's ready, like, produce. Go ahead and put well, it mad listen, out there. You, so listen. you saying this song right here, based it's, on it's your ver- based it's on your lit. own verbiage yes, that you just lit. said, you saying he ready to go ahead and perform it live on stage. Listen, yes, he can perform that song live on stage. That's not a prof- that's the, like if I see it on stage, I'll be like, okay, cool. He said, thanks. He did you know it himself. Saying? And he said he, he needs to work on it. See that? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I wouldn't see the song or hear the song or see him performing and die. I'm gonna tell you something. If his performance outweighs the song, I'm gonna buy in. If it's if his performance does minimize, just like if the song was great, but he doesn't perform well. Right. Yeah, so it's, rather, all, it's all about his so stage presence. You, follow, you follow what I'm saying? Like, so if you was hearing that on, the, if you didn't know him, if he ain't tuned it in, it wasn't on our station, you was listening on the radio, would you buy his album? Off, would you buy that Just TV? off that song, if he performed it yeah. with some good energy? No, yeah. I'm saying no. Like, you, you heard it on the radio, like now, boom. You're going to go get this album. Mm-hmm. You're going to support this man. You're going to put that 99 cent in Spotify or whatever. What is it? SoundCloud? Well, it... Yeah, nobody buy music, so it's gonna get streamed. If you did, it's gonna get streamed off of YouTube Red. You know what I'm saying? If and you, did. you know, I uh, you know, hopefully got a video, cool video to go with it, or some stuff where I can so follow you got on a social video? media. And if you don't have a video, sh- let your social media blast so they could catch you. Then I could then follow you on IG. Be like, oh, okay, let me keep up with him. Oh, the young dude doing it. Sally, so hit me up. We're going to get you on the show. Get in my DMs. We're going to talk to you. you got, I got some questions. So that's just, I just feel like ultimately I can connect with something. Like I could go to a place and the food is not great, but the customer service is excellent. And I go to another like place. Like Waffle House. The, yeah, but I could go to a place where the food, <laughs> but now sometimes they, it, the food is super, super subpar and the fucking service is trash. But I go somewhere that has great food and terrible customer service and I will not come back. 
So what does that mean? You see what I'm saying? Duke, I ain't doing this with you. I'm just um, saying. We're going to go to the real favorite part of this whole show. Tony's Hot Tea Topic Show. If there's something hot to talk about, whatever it is, you know that we going to put it out here on Tony's Hot Tea Topics. Tony's Hot Tea Topics tonight. Tonight. Hey, lovers and losers. I got a couple of things on the agenda that I want to sip about, talk about, chat about. Uh, J-Lo and Shakira has co-hosting the Super Bowl for 2020 in Miami. Are we feeling that or not? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like our engineer is saying that because he is from Miami. And I feel like there's a lot of artists. I feel like when you go to a town, if there's some Big names in that city, in that state, whatever. You got to call on them for that Super Bowl moment. Like, I felt like Atlanta should have called on some Atlanta artists. I felt like, you know what I'm saying, Miami. Miami got some some people down there that should be headlining this. J-Lo is like 99 years old. She fine. J-Lo she's 99. Fine <laughs> J-Lo fine. J-Lo fine as hell. Shakira from. Who is J-Lo? Who is J-Lo, J-Lo kid's father? Like, who, Mark Anthony. Is Mark Anthony that guy? So yeah, they had kids together. Puerto Rico. I thought she I thought I thought she went and like had kids on her own. Like, you know, like no, well off well off women. She had a Mark, Mark Anthony. Oh, okay. Like on her own. She by herself. She just, <laughs> yeah, just went to the bank. Just called like, her. Yo, she just went there and told the people the features she looking for. Give me, me 182. Get, yeah, yeah. Let me get 182. Give see, me 182. And matter of fact, hit me up with 129. So yeah. I was really feeling like, can you mix them? Yeah. Can you that's kind of like when they that's kind of like when cats come to the shop and they be asking for hey, let me get a 15, but can you do my size like 12? Like, the, heck? the old first thing, nigga, you don't have none of that texture of hair. I be hating that. <laughs> that's not, you got Nigerian silk, and that's a Dominican fade. You, it don't work. <laughs> that's the course. You got a 4C. That's the course. Trying to get a curly top. I'm sure you heard that her husband. I, no, no, I've heard. I know, I, but I didn't know that they had kids together. I thought he had already had kids, and I thought she had some kind of, I don't know where I get this whole narrative from. I thought she you had, made you know, it up. Either yeah, way, in my mind. no shade against Jayla or Shakira, but one, I ain't heard nothing from Shakira in about 50, 11, 90 years ago. And Jayla was just, she, I mean, she's banging and she got the body and she looked great, but I don't know if she going to be my Super Bowl person. I mean, I think the Super Bowl should be based off popularity. It should be based off what's popping popular, right man. now. But that's what I'm saying. So I think that's what the people issue is. Well, I see why they picked. Well, J Lo, I mean, her outfit. Well, well, she's a well, fashion mogul right now. Well, it's a lot of Spanish people. Well, Spanish. You got to look at that too. The demographic. Yeah, you know what I mean? The demographic and they ain't buying no ticket to no Super Bowl. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. In- in- uh, actually, yeah, they are. most of the people that go to Super Bowl fan, like from the area, they don't really go. They can't afford it. Most of like rich people. Yeah, most people flying in, whatever. But you still kind of want to still have. You know, something that's catered to the demographic down there too. You know what I'm saying? Well, then have a little side concert like Atlanta did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, sure sure. <laughs> the Super Bowl is for everybody. It's not for the demographic in Miami. All right. I don't anyway, know. Real. I don't, I'm, no I'm just making logic today. To f- listen, I'm sure. just yeah. That's for real. That's what they need to do. It's Turn gonna it get up. Real, it's going to get real freak That's too ratchet for them. They're not freak gonna Nick do, ish. Super Bowl is corporate. They're not going to do all that. Hey, yeah, Super Bowl is super corporate. <laughs> like, for real. Anyway, um, also, y'all, if y'all got sports kids out there like me, y'all might want to think about trucking it over to California. I know it's a little ticket, but California um, will now allow college athletes to profit off of endorsements under the bill signed by their Governor Newsom. So, um, you know what I'm saying? If you got some basketball players, football players, hockey, tennis, I don't know, so whatever, other things like that. Homeboy not the governor no more? Sylvester Stallone? He ain't been, the, he ain't been that in like... Not Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I knew they had both had weird names. Oh, well, yes. I knew who you meant, but Arnold I Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, he's not the mm, governor no more? No. Do you still you still pump the iron and shit like? Call him up and see. I gotta check his IG. You know oh what I'm saying? See what he's doing in his spare time. But yeah, so if y'all got some kids that's really you know trying to make some things, I mean, I feel like that's that's a good deal. I mean, you know what I'm saying? College are making a lot a lot of money off these kids. Them college games cost way more than any NFL game I've ever looked and seen and been to. So let them kids get a little money. Pay I think college all college students should get money for what they do. They can get money though. You know what I'm saying? 
But see, the thing, but not everybody. Now, yeah, well, all they get money, but it's illegal. Yeah, but illegally, if, if they get caught getting that money, they'll yeah, lose their gonna, eligibility. It, it's over with. So the the endorsement should be. I mean, they have to eat. They have to look nice. They want to, you know. I think it's do gonna trickle down. Too. I think it's gonna trickle down because. I um, also feel it'll help them when they get to the NFL status. They won't be so crazy to spend all their money that they never had. It'll give them different levels to being able to accomplish things and have money. So it's not so like, <gasps> oh, my God, I just got this $80 million contract. Let yeah. me just go on and but do But not just get stuff. paid. They should be able to get those endorsements. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot. That's what it's basically yeah. is. The new thing they have in California is like you can get paid off your likeness. Yeah. Not the school going to be giving you money. It's like no, you could go and get paid. If you sign an autograph from somebody, you can get paid for that. Yeah, but it ain't gonna be like the city giving you. But that's what it. But that's okay though, because like, say I yeah. get a jersey, or say Nike is putting some you know, commercial a high school together, jersey, even a high school jersey. You might be popping in high school as receiver, and everybody want that jersey. You go to your school, be like, "Lo, check it out. Let me get some jerseys." And if they be like, "I, we'll print them all," he'd be like, "I go print out my jerseys myself. I go get the exact same replicas and sign them." And now people want those jerseys. Kids, everything is fashion. Just to like, just to have this guy jersey there, never wash it. They wear it a few times and resell it. Sit back, let them get to the league, let the, the value grow on it. Like, it'll be so much on it. I think you should, man. These kids, are, it's their lifestyle. It ain't just something they do in Pop Warner style. Right. You're running hard with your kids, you know, with sports. So you understand. And look how much money you have to put into it. Then if they need additional training, that's additional money. Why we can't get some of that back as a parent? Absolutely. Give me me. And uh, so, next thing on the agenda, um, I'm not going to say her whole name because it's real complicated, so we're going to call her Sayi Uba. She dropped from Alice Walker's musical that she has coming out, and she is suing them because she is saying it's for religious reasons. Um, she posted out on her social media how she felt um, she didn't feel like you could be born gay and that um, it's a, you know against biblical reasons and rights, and she just feels like... Um, she had the right to say that, and so she got dropped off, and so they're saying, she's saying, look, I mean, my view shouldn't, you know, be taken that way. I should be able to say what I need to say. If I believe in God and these are my views, why can't I speak my I truth? I agree with her. I agree with so. her. I think we need to support that. I mean, I mean, if, if I feel whatever I feel, that's how I feel. Just like if you feel offended, that's how you feel. Outside of being offended by what I feel or what I say in a statement, that's it. I mean, why it has to get to the point of that? I'm not running around telling people we need to pick it. I'm not causing a, some commotion behind it. I'm just I feel that in the sense of if, it, if it's not with aggression and trying to hurt you and trying to demean you, if I believe one Intent. thing and you believe one thing, then we can agree to disagree. But I shouldn't have to silence my belief because you want to speak yours really loud. Like, it, it should right. be equal. And, and it makes what happens, it makes the people feel who are not on that side. Like, is it an agenda? Because it seems like once you speak against it, everything kind of get, you know, like the Kevin Hart situation. Like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? This situation, with every other situation. Like, come on, man. Like, seriously. But this is what blows my mind. If a young man goes out and happens to meet a young lady that he thinks is a young lady and it becomes a, find out it was once a man, and he, you know, he trip out and have a situation or want to beat his ass, you're going to look at him like, come on, you're being inhumane. Like, you can't just do that. Like, what the deception, that's the highest level of deception outside of there's no other way you can lie to someone by physically altering yourself and then posing as something else. And then I, that person signs up for what he assumes it to be well, and not you be. Definitely should why is that honest. not a charge? Why is that not? Why did you go to jail? Why you can't go to jail for doing that? Falsifying information kind of like you would do if, if you lied to the popo. Right. If you could go to jail for um, uh, what they call it, uh, when they said you advertise something and it's not really what it false is. False advertising. False advertising. That's exactly what that is. That's a you false advertising. And somebody well, decided. Plead the case. So in, just in imagine court. somebody emotionally. That's the emotional distraught. Like that's some PTSD shit. Well, in order to change the rules, if you felt that way, if somebody was handled that way, they would have to go to the extent of taking it to the court. They would have to plead their case to the court, and that's how you change it. Everybody wants to change something just by saying change it. That's not how you change right. it. You have to go through. The actions you have to. This is the world where you got to do it. How you got to do it, and you got to play their game. So go to the court, take that court, plead the case. The first couple of people probably ain't gonna win, but you gonna have to try it a couple of times. Most people here you now. You gonna be my attorney? Mm, I might. Okay, cool. We might have to get that I started. I think I would be a great attorney. You know what I'm saying? But, but, uh, but you know, but the thing is, you would have to talk to men, and that's the thing. Men just kind of man, like you have to talk to men that actually went wants through to be that. Embarrassed. But that's the whole thing. You have to talk to men who actually went through that. I'm talking about the guys who like are the Malik Yogas but reverse. 
You dig what I'm saying? Like they they not cool with that, but they probably got duped or whatever. That's why I made the joke about it. Like, you know, you kiss a tranny. Like, you know, just imagine if a man kissed a tranny and didn't know and got to that emotional feeling where his body reacted to that moment. And then he found out it is. He's like, damn, like, you know, just think about that. And I actually had a client that dealt with it. He said, man, it just messed your mind up because you think you know what you think you know based off everything you was taught from the men and the women that taught you. And then somebody clearly tricks you on the, the most wicked deception of all. That's crazy. You don't even know how to see things. And so he said it took him a while to even date. It took him. A, it just plays with you psychologically. Yeah, and that, that was just his honest truth. I don't know if he went further than that, but he said just at that point, and I was like, man, that just seems like there's such a heavy toll. Men don't even like to be seen with an ugly woman. <laughs> that'll, right. tell, that'll mess and him up. And men don't like to seem too emotional either. So right. Therefore, so like, just I'm, imagine I'm, that I actually though. put my barriers down to care about you. And like I'm talking about, like, I, like I, 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 I legitimately saw you as, like, just think of your sons. You know how masculine they are. They play football. They might wrestle. They, they real young boys. And then they go out there and meet a young girl, bring her around, and you find out, damn. Because they're starting to change genders at birth now. So you're like, damn. So I'm just, you know, you're seeing this girl. You're like, something ain't right with this girl. But you can't put your finger on it. You feel what I'm saying? And then you find out that, and you be like, damn, son. You, how did, what do you even tell him? What do you start to say, son, is going to be okay? Son, ask for baby pictures. So. Uh, stretch marks. <laughs> you know, uh, like serious baby stretch marks. Like, Bef- you know. Before you get intimate, do like, DNA yes. tests. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Blood but I tell, kid, I tell kids, even with Cause that. Because the, the blood don't lie. But, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if the blood can tell you you're a male or female. I, I don't know. What you mean? Your chromosomes are still oh, your chromosomes. You okay. can't take your chromosomes out. Well, I'll I, I just say this because m- most people ain't going to get no blood tests. But go and Maybe look at what fa- go and look at what fake vaginas look like. Like my I'm dad used to tell. Go look at fake well, I'm just saying that you got to do like, this Atlanta first thing, and number two, this is a, a wicked environment we live in. You got to do that because if you think about it, in the next twenty years, thirty years, two, three decades. But you, I'm sure in the next twenty, thirty years, they're gonna be them perfected. Well, it. But what I'm saying is, even if they perfected it, this is the type of conversation. Like my aunt used to tell me. Before you get intimate with them girls, turn the light on, look at it, because you don't want it to be pussy, bumpy, you don't want it to be overly I a certain agree way. With that. So look, at, look before you leap. Right. So even with that, not just looking at the element of how infected it could be or not, but is it really what it was supposed to be? Because we're in a time where parents are allowing kids to adopt the culture and mindset of homosexuality earlier now. So now everybody's gonna be in and on it when you come to the house for dinner. You see what I'm saying? That's just so unfair. So, I mean, everybody's in on, <laughs> and you're going to meet that one cousin, he's going to be looking at you. Like, he ain't going to be trying to say nothing, but he's going to be looking Luke, like. I ain't going there with you all night. I'm Last thing on the agenda, Stacey Dash. I mean, you know, she ain't, nobody has really been paying with her since we gave her over and switched her out for uh, Who Gary out Owens. For? Gary um, Owens <laughs> and Adele. <laughs> Since we switched her out. But um, she just got arrested for domestic violence against her husband. I guess she got some anger going on over there. And they need to figure it out. I don't know how they're going to get back together. But, I mean, if y'all want to follow that story, definitely Google it. See what she got going on. Um, yeah, I don't know about Stacey Dash. Stacey Dash she looked like her sex though. boring, though. She, I, I don't know. I, it, it does. It, it might not she be. Looked like one of women that, she looked like one of the women that's into herself so much, she leaves no room for you to be into her. Anyway, moving yeah, forward, because Duke going to be on this craziness like all night long, y'all. We're going to play the next song, and it is one of our She give fellatio and cry. People in the world, <laughs> thank you so much for all the exclusives that you get us. Ashton Martin, we're going to hit you with the seal. Ashton Bye. Martin, what up, homie? We lit! So struggling, I'm accustomed to that Hustling, bustling, busting it just to make a few scraps Hold it down like an anchor, that's why I'm going for they throat It's too late to be a gangster, so I'm focused on the growth Since ain't nobody told you, I figured that I'd let you know It's a dead end street, boys and men in the road I just open an ocean, that's why I'm overly focused I got more clothes than the ocean, get on your nose and be cozy So I go open and roll Provoke them that in the stroke and be woken. I feel like.
chillin', she woke to living my life like it's golden. I'm traveling, but I ain't falling on my pivot. God sat me down and told me, boy, you trippin', giving interest to it, but not they paying attention. Boy, you slipping, don't forget that I got you on this mission. Okay, I'm good on that handout coming this way, please. So when I make it, can't nobody say they made me. Day one, day two, or even day three. Long as you got some no new tea, boy, you straight with me. Quiet boy, and I still keep that iron with me. Up that fire, it's gonna seem like 99 with me. Church boy, yeah, Jerusalem, just to be specific. The way my mainstream is ironic, I'm still indie. Can't wait to have me a legit because I love kids. Shout out to wife because she showed me just what love is. These are facts, my mom and grandparents. Ain't ready. And we're back. We ain't ready. Get your shit together over there, young lady. Stop being a hater. Nah, uh -uh, ain't no salt in my diet. It's some haters in this house. We got in the building. It's some haters in this house. Um, besides the haters, we have Diamond with Pain Over Passion brand. Passion Lifestyle. over pain. Passion, Passion over, over pain. pain. <laughs> yeah, you, you did. Yep. And it's on a shirt, like it's not on a right. shirt. I'm not looking right. at her shirt. Right the fuck Come there. I went looking saying? at her shirt. <laughs> all the words was there. They was jumping up. It was like a crossword puzzle. It's, it's all good. good. It's all good. Hey, How y'all doing? So, Diamond, um, where'd you get the brand name from? Um, Honestly, that's just something I feel like I've experienced. I've always, you know, dreamed and worked towards um, being in fashion, doing something in fashion. I've started a couple of lines before, and it just didn't happen. Um, so I feel like it's always been a dream of mine to accomplish this. So uh, I've been passionate about it, but there was always something stopping me. So that was pretty much the pain. Any obstacles that I, you know, ever had in my life that kind of stopped me um, is where the pain part comes in. So it's passion over pain. So it's pretty much for any creative who's wanted to do something and may not may have not had all the support they needed, and they had so many obstacles that they had to go through. And um, it's just you know fighting for it and making sure you get it done okay. at, all, at all costs. So what type of things can people buy? Um, well, right now it's just T-shirts, hoodies, hats. Um, that's it. So the goal is to have this but also have a, a printing company. So I'm, like, in the process of getting supplies. Um, Ooh, you know. girl, that's expensive. Yeah, it is. It's, it's very costly. Are you and trying to do um, vinyl or? Uh, everything whatever you know i can afford at the time and then as i grow you know expand my supplies okay. so you know heat press screen printing you know i want to do it all printing is the most like easiest to like accomplish in bulk yeah but, um the machines cost the most yeah exactly so that's that's one of the you know obstacles that i have to get past um, but it's just, you know, more so marketing and, and trying to live your regular life and, and be a creative. <laughs> it's just, it's hard yeah. to do and uh, pay bills and, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot. But, oh, um, know yeah, I know, especially yeah. being here, this is, this place is amazing. Um, but you guys are doing what you got to do to make it to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's, that's powerful. Like, just keep fighting for what you believe in and, and having that passion. It drives you to be more. So, um, yeah, that's just pretty much, you know, the goals that I have in um, making something happen, however it has to happen and however long it takes. Um, how many different pieces and styles of pieces that you have available? I, I know you say you have shirts and hoodies, but do you have different, like, do, are you getting into the jumpsuits and things of that nature? Is yeah. that on the way? Is that around the corner? I mean, I mean you know, yeah, the winter just, time coming, so, you know, what, what are we looking for for the winter time? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just right now hoodies. Uh, like, I want to do jackets, but my thing is, is like, 
I feel like everything that people are wearing, I can make myself. Right. right. And oh, um, that's me. Yeah. So yeah, it's like I, I'm like that too. I'm in. It's so like I want to shop, but I feel like if I shop, I'm taking away from my business. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I feel like everything that they create, and I can actually create if I just focus in on that and, and, and get creative. Let exactly. me tell you the way to get around it. It's it's really it. it it kind of makes you have to shop, but it also helps you be as creative as possible. Mm -hmm. The thrift store. Yeah. yeah you go to the yeah. thrift store and you get all the little pieces. You can cut them up, rip them up. Because they ain't cost yeah. you nothing but $2. You yeah. cut them up, right. rip them up, sew them yeah. together, yeah. press them yeah. on here, change them on yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. Like, 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 say if you got, um, you, you, did, you take passion over pain and put it over like a, um, a old um, army jacket or something. Yeah, Then definitely. you hock the sleeves or you three-quarter the sleeve. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, no. So, you know, like, I like to do that with jacket because I like to wear my thermal under under it. So, I let the thermal ride up under it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But all the decals, it would be your logo. Right, right. No. All the decals place would be at. And then you didn't took a jacket, customized it, has that, that authentic, $10 at the thrift authentic, store. Right. authentic feel to it. You see what I'm saying? Nah, definitely. Replace I, the buttons. Yeah. Take the button that you're going to knock off of here. Put them somewhere else. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, just, just reclaim it and make it mine. But yeah. the button, see, those they don't have the collar on the buttons. So and those are the exclusive thing because there's only one. Because you yeah, have to exactly. find one in the thrift <laughs> store. You know but when somebody wants that, now you're like, okay, I can remake that. And, right. And that's what I used to like about. But the I can scheme. make it specifically for this individual, especially exactly. if I'm and getting it from the. And thrift I think store. that's I think that that's why I was about to say I like about. Remember, uh, Meskine came out. Meskine, Mizan, they made they, like they, each shirt they made was never an identical shirt. Mm. It was always its own custom. Even if it was a, a certain pattern, it always went in a different way. However, okay. and I like that. You yeah, know, like yeah. that custom. So me, you pull up the same shirt, same pattern, colors, but the the, the design, the design was different. is different. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, obviously, that's the goal mm -hmm. is to make something that stands out from the rest right. um, and just find my niche uh, with whatever I'm doing. So right now, I guess I would say that I'm pretty much in the beginning stages of learning everything because okay. right now I'm a one woman show and I'm doing this all alone, no team. But I'm hoping that as I grow and um, I get more creative and learn different skills um, mm -hmm. pertaining to my business as as a, everything, okay. that I can get people to work with me as far as what I need to get done. So that's my goal right now is finding, you know, learning everything I need to learn about the business and seeing who likes what I'm doing and you know, like likes the path that I'm on and hope I can get people to join me. People that have the same, you know, creative right. mind. So back to this. Um, what are some of the creative thought processes that you say, hey, how can I get my brand to stand out? Um, do you plan to work with independent people and say, hey, I'll, if you buy 100 shirts, I'll match you. We're like, oh, are you just selling your brand? Can somebody else come and get their brand through your company and you print it? I mean, what yeah. options do people have? With so, you? yeah, that, that, thank you for asking that. First off, um, so the whole thing is like my brand is called Passion Over Pain. That's the clothing line. Mm -hmm. But I have uh, something, the print shop is P.O.P. Studios, which is just Passion Over Pain abbreviated. Okay. So that's the goal to have like pr a print shop so other people can work with me and I can print other brands and things like that. Okay. So overall, I wanted to be a studio. I've always dreamed to have my own um, brick and mortar, like my own spot. So recently I was in Colorado and I just saw a bunch of like stores that they have out there and they have their own gear. They sell other gear, but they got mm -hmm. their own particular gear for their particular store. So that's always been a dream of mine to have my own stuff, but also st sell the brands that I, I like. There used, the, used to be a spot they closed down uh, last year. It was called The Local mm. out here. And okay. there's another spot called Heat. They uh they sell um a lot of uh, customized stuff and a lot mm. of independent brands and stuff like that. Yeah. Is the heat still down? Is there like a heat downtown? Well, heat still has a has a storefront, but a local don't have a storefront anymore. What what part of town was that? Uh, I think I want to say Edgewood, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Or not. So um you know, but I think we need more of that. There's a yeah, lot of people definitely. making shirts and making different things. Yeah. And, I, and I think we need more of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So um, there's something else that I want to actually slip my mind. What? How long have you been been an entrepreneur? And you know, um, not long, honestly. Um, you know, I've came up with passion over pain like in 2016, mm -hmm. and then I experienced some life changing things, and I decided 2019 that I was just gonna go for it and um, see what happens, and you know, just make it make it happen. However, I had to, so I I wasn't working, and I was just focusing mainly on that. And just trying to get my money together so I can, you know, create certain things. 
But um, yeah, it's been since I guess we'll say 2019 would be the beginning. But I, you know, created the name in 2016. Okay. So this is like your bread and butter. Like this is what you do full time. Unfortunately, no, because I at one point I was, but then you know I started needing money and I wasn't making it with the brand as much as I wanted to because it was new, and I needed certain things because um, my whole goal is to cut out the middle man. So I need graphic designers. I'm a graphic designer. I can learn that just like you learned it. Right, right, I mean, right. I may not be the best, but I my goal was always to cut out the middle man because I'm on their time, but they got my money. No, I agree with you. I mean, mm. even with video, you know, videography and that whole thing, I, mm-hmm. I feel like I have to tap into it because even with production, you know, you work with someone that's affordable and sometimes the quality is crummy or the process is uh, stagnant. Yeah. You know, yeah. work with somebody yeah. that's out of your range and you're going to get exactly what you need, but it's out of your range. So it's not realistic for you in the moment. You no, see what that's, I'm saying? that's so, facts. You know, because um, when I first came to Atlanta, I'm originally from D.C., um, go go Maryland DC yeah uh, area. You like yeah. go go? Oh yeah. You definitely. dance to go go? I mean yeah. You, oh, you can't not dance. dance. Oh, <laughs> I felt like her eyes no. took a little bit. Uh, she had a memory. She was like, "Pots and pants." Pots and pants. Definitely like nah. that's what I'm But I, I, I listen. I was with a woman for two years who was from DC, yeah. Maryland, PG County, mm-hmm. and I heard go go. That was the cleanup music. Yeah. So the I, I, cleanup yeah. music. Yeah. When, when she, when she cleaning you up. You waking up to go-go music? Sunday morning, hey, it was go-go. It's like that. But, right? I, but I wasn't mad because, you know, at the end of the day, everybody got their culture. And I just embrace culture. Like, yeah. even for the people from uh, Chicago, I know they're big on house. Right. You know I love house, too. Like, but I love it all. Growing up, right? This is a real story. Growing up, the only men that listened to house were homosexual men in my mm. neighborhood. So I, when I got here, I so every time I heard house, I would associate it to, man, turn that shit off. Yeah, because I wasn't cultured. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. But because the, but the music men, is music. But I mean that. But you know, if you're growing up around a certain masculine type of environment, right, right. They would listen to Frankie Beverly and Maze and all that. But every time I heard House, it was all uh, Donna Summers and you know, it was oh, always I love Donna Summers. It was always <laughs> those type of fellows. But then being a barber, one of my fellow uh, uh, barbers, he was from Joliet. You mm. know what I'm saying? Illinois, right okay. outside of Chicago, and he was a House DJ. So I went to a couple parties and I was like, wow. Yeah. I like how so when that shit come on now, I cut right. all type of, yeah. you got to show me, like, what you cutting all type yeah. of fabric? <laughs> now, when I go home, I can't, house come on, I'll be like, shit, they be like, Duke, you all right? I'll be like, you, you can't not dance. They, look, like, they be like, Duke, you all right? You been in Atlanta, right. cuz? I'll be like, nigga, I'm, nigga, I'm, I'm hard. <laughs> I go in the bathroom and get off my head. Right. <laughs> Close that door. You be Put right there, mirror. There so they don't know you. What I you gotta go to the do. car. As soon as it come out, oh shit, Donald Summers. I gotta go to the car. I gotta yep. express myself. But nah, I it just shows you what culture, man. It's just yeah. um, just different cultures. But um, how long have you been in Atlanta? Um, whew, I've been here about six years now, so it's been a little while. I'm feeling like I'm from Atlanta at this What's point. What's the draw? What's the draw as an outsider? You know, looking at Atlanta, and say, hey. I want to. I want to go see. Did you visit first, or did you say, you know, yeah, I, I did my homework. Did, I'm coming. I did visit first. My mom moved out here first, and then I okay. came. Uh, my brother then moved as well, and then I was like, all right, maybe it's time I go out there too. But what I've gotten from Atlanta is that it's a, it's a, it's a way to make it happen out here. It's a lot of networking. It's a lot of events. It's a lot of celebrities here, and I feel like if you get your craft to the right in the right hands. It's possible to make it out here, um, and I think that's that's one of the reasons I'm still here is because I feel like I, I feel like any creative or any person who wants to be an entrepreneur needs to come here or at least visit here mm-hmm. for a while. Don't come in. <laughs> well, of course, there's a lot of I people welcome, here. Already. I welcome. I welcome. I <laughs> welcome. It's a lot of people here, but at the end of the day, this is the place where you want to come because come it's visit. opportunities, especially for the home. melanated people. Like the corporate people. Yeah, How no, they go really. somewhere for the yeah. Monday through Friday. The yeah. corporate people go somewhere Monday through Friday. Then guess what? They go home. So everybody else creative, y'all come in on the weekend. Right. And take your butts back home. <laughs> come to yeah. the events that are important, like A A three C or the A C three, yeah. which yeah, right. that um it's so festivals. Many, it's so many like different it's, events. It's just it's so always Atlanta something. And I think this is the place where Dogwood Festival, then you yeah. got the uh, Sweet Off Sweet Off Festival this week. The Dogwood right? Festival is all over the South. You ain't got to come in for the Dogwood Festival. But I'm saying but the Sweet Off Festival was was I'm just calling all the different festivals, different stuff. Yeah, it's there. always like, something. Like Piedmont Fest. Park, you can walk in that You know what? The Sweet Autumn Festival has grown so so much. I remember when, um, like, big name people weren't at that festival. It was just like little local people that could yeah. perform on the little stages, and they had always had the food and everything. But mm-hmm. it was like just real street local. You would just like submit or whatever, and they'll pick out you know a handful of local people that could perform. Now it's so big. Like my kids was like little, little when I started going to the Sweet Auburn Festival. Yeah. It's just like wow yeah. how things grow. 
I've definitely been there like twice, and and it's always like local artists, but new up and coming artists there performers. So. so, are you a big fan of independent artists, independent music? Um, are you like once they people get the mainstream, that's when you start. No, not transit. really. Like I feel like <laughs> listening to SoundCloud is like you're gonna hear a bunch of artists that you don't know who they are, but you you rock with their music. So it's okay. it's I like that, but I'm not like a extreme follower of underground music. I got you. I like good music. I don't care what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? If it sounds good, I like it. Okay. Um, but I don't follow anyone in particular that's, you know, what what at this point in your life, what's the main motivation? What's the main focus? What's the ideal place that you would like to be in at this point right now? Those are two types Man, of questions. Man, that's right that's a that's a great question because I'm gonna let you think about that because we gonna go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Cause Duke will have you on here, you know. Hey man, I'm in, I'm in interview mode. I'm gonna forget that I'm, question. I'm, I'm gonna write it down. Put it, <laughs> right. put it in your dilly Duke, daddy. Duke wrote it down for you. Write write that down for him. Text it on your I phone. I, I know that's t- those are my base oh, questions. Boo. I need to know. Since yeah. we um, boo. I need to know. Since we're talking about independent music, we're gonna see if you like this one. The next one is Toxic by Matthew Justice. Matthew Justice, we in here, ba. We lit. And we're 
like that was a good vibe right there. That's that shit. That was real sexy that was and seductive it. right there. Who I said yeah. thing that? You know what I'm saying? That was seductive and seductive that? right there. Hey, Maybe. play up. Keep making music, cuz. Get in my DMs. No. For real. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at her. Look I at her. Send somebody in my DMs, ain't it? But, um, nah, Don't you know. Be there, though. This is a question that we were saying earlier, that I asked you earlier. Yes. You know, what's your inspiration, you know, and what's the ideal place you'd like to be in in your in your, your field of work? Um, Honestly, I've envisioned myself uh, having my own studio to do whatever I want to do in. Um, also having a brick and mortar Whatever where she I have to do in. So if that's a late night ticket, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that, watch it, watch it, things. sister. <laughs> all things, but um, really like the that is the biggest goal because I just want to be able to work for myself and work for what I like and do what I like. Um, as everyone else wants to do, but really, um, you know, if I could have a brick and mortar that represents all the brands that I think are dope and just have a great message and just are fly i want to be able to do that while repping my brand you know what i'm saying so that's that's the goal and and i hope that you know one day it'll be it'll happen um sooner than later but yeah that's pretty much it and so making sure my fam my family is good that's that's another thing so when you get your brick and mortar and everything is all you know solidified is that it is that like okay i've made it i can i'm i can sit in this or are you gonna want more? I don't know. Uh, right now, and you I've, just want one. No, I would love to have a different uh, store for each state, mainly DC. I would love to have one there, um, and just wherever. Like, how was DC? How was DC in comparison to to Atlanta? Um, I think we just more real. I'm just be honest with you. I just feel mm -hmm. like back home up north, like people just more real. Like it's not. I don't know. Like uh, I've met a lot of people here, and um, a lot of people are great, but it just never was, you know, uh, different. It don't have an authentic feel to it. Yeah, it's just because it's a lot of people from all over here. But that's, you know what I'm saying? See, that's what it is. I think when you yeah. know, melting when pot. You get those, that's why you everybody get those, needs to hunt. You heard what you said earlier in the conversation. You feel like you're Atlanta now. Yeah. That's what everybody gets that feel because the South allows you to feel like that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and you start meeting people who are corny. You start meeting people who from like you know. Lansing, Michigan, and shit. Like, yeah. you know what Idaho. I'm saying? Idaho. Idaho. Yeah. You know, Arkansas. You know what I'm Nebraska. saying? Nebraska. You know, East Rutherford. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, okay. That's almost like, what the fuck? Like, why? Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? But you just yeah. Wichita. Meet some people. Wichita. You, you, make, you meet a lot of people here, but, you know, I think D.C. is just, like you said, more authentic. And we just, I think we just some fly. It's a fly city. Like, I mean, I know in L.A. they got, you know, all this Gucci, this Gucci, that, but we will take something and just make it, like, beyond. Yeah. You know I, what I'm I saying? think y'all people are, uh, are pretty cool. I met some people, you know, from there that, that's just just some cool people. So, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, I, I kind of agree with that a little bit. Um, but what I don't care for, <laughs> what I don't like, you know, y'all really like the Redskins. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Um, all they met like Baltimore. Sorry, DC. Or, or I'm not like a Redskins fan. Now, who was you a fan of? Um, neither. Nothing. I don't, don't really. Don't I love kind of football, but I don't choose a team. I have never cho okay. chosen a team. So you Do you have any specific players? Because usually people that don't have a team, they got like, a I follow. Yeah, they got. I, um, I like that. Just be out here just rooting on a Sunday, just random. Rooting. Everybody, I, honestly, go. I, I'm you like get a that. cheer. You get who won? Go oh, for that team. Everybody no, got. no. I literally like have this mental thing where if I'm watching a game, I mentally choose it. Like it, it just, it's just random. Like I can you, actually be choosing both of the teams. Like don't yeah, I don't want to talk about football because I side. Lies, pick, a, lies. pick a side. I like the Saints. Lies. I do like the Saints. Oh, Atlanta. Oh, I live in Atlanta. So. You see it? Huh? You can't like you the Saints it. and Atlanta. That's I like an oxymoron. I said I live in Atlanta. Okay. I didn't say okay. I like. I don't. Okay. I didn't say I like the Falcons, so, so, but so I you, live in Atlanta. You, so you can rock with the Saints, is what you're saying? Yeah, I like the Saints. Now, why do you like us? Why do you like my squad? Mainly because I like y'all colors. You That's like about it. Yeah. So you a girl for real? See? Yeah, I she am a girl, girl for real. It comes out. It comes out. It is. Like, for real. Why would you say she's not a girl for real? Exactly. Well, we had a first of all, conversation. Get out of here. <laughs> How's she not a girl for yeah, real? Yeah, first of all, first of all, I, I, I love oh, streetwear. Oh, how tall now your team is with that? Ooh. First Ooh, of all. Ooh, that was a low blow. That's a low blow. That's a low. My team on pause right well, we didn't even talk about that. That's just straight foolishness. He's watching football right now. <laughs> How your team? You can't come for my team unless your team doing something too. We already uh -oh. know we're tanking. This don't come for me unless I. Really don't bad. come for me unless I sent this for you. Now go on, go on over there now. 
Guam. Who, who is your team? Who's your team over there? Am I eight? Take it to the house. <laughs> he said it doesn't matter. It doesn't oh, matter. Just know they got a fish on the side the of the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a whole dolphin. <laughs> That's an aquatic <laughs> creature, okay? Yeah. Oh, they got a little, a little flounder on the side. <laughs> <laughs> You know any team? You know any team with a with a fish on the helmet? Yeah, Miami. Okay. Right. Miami's dope though. Yeah, the yeah. city that is. <laughs> nah. Yeah. There you go. I used Let's to live out right there too. Oh, yeah. you, so you get around, huh? Yeah, I've been okay. a few places. Hey, right. this this person here is super <laughs> fucking cool. Okay. So, um, what area of town are you in, and what do you like to do when you're not working? Um, when I'm not working, um, which I'm always doing, mm-hmm. trying to work and learn different things. Well, on your but downtime, if you have downtime, downtime um. I like to go to the Chattahoochee, like okay. waterboarding and stuff like that. Okay. And, oh, you be uh, doing like the, the tubing? Yeah, I do that. I got, or, my tube, oh, I got my tube thing set I told out. her she was cool. I just said it. Yeah. Can I hang out with you? Yeah, Do you have sure. your tube? Because me and the boys she, got out. I'm pretty sure she got an extra one. No, no you got to rent one. Wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> we hanging out. This is my new friend. But you don't have no tube. You didn't even inquire about the hangout. You, you just said that you have a tube too, which means we you have a whole group out. of people. No, 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 we friends. Okay, okay? all right. We don't cool, need her. Cool. We don't need her. Yeah, we can rent you one. We can go shoot the hoop. And, and, and then me, you, yeah. and then your friends. Yeah. And then I'm a part of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sounds good. Some, to I'm going to let, let that be okay. I'm to take my you, need some, you need some friends. You're right. You don't have any. Uh, you need some. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be your friend. There you go. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I, I, look, I had a for a dollar you can get your own person. Yeah, I had an event. I, yeah. I invited like I had. A, I'm talking about guest list was crazy. Only three people showed up. You lying? What? I had an event too, and only my mom and my son showed up. Not even. That's all that up. matters. Anyway. What the vagina <laughs> that birthed her and the ones that came out of hers. That's the only people that showed up. That's terrible. Nah, that's that's Duke, not, that's not. Duke didn't even show up. Well, that's because Duke had to pay bills. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. But I showed up at his event. Just want to let you know. Uh, because yeah. Duke paid her bills because he had paid lies, the <laughs> lies. You I ain't had to no, pay bills. Them extra bills, no bills I was just mentioning. Yeah, that was hers. Oh, lies. So why she okay. out? Why she out getting awards and seeing her names in the credits? Oh wow. I was okay. paying bills. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. I dig it. I dig we it. We ain't gonna get into our dirty laundry. Let's get back to you because you're the oh, you're that's the MVP. Song. That's a song. That's a song. Dirty it's a song laundry. called Dirty Laundry. Okay, child, I know that. Who made that? Um, Who's the artist? I've heard of a song called Dirty Computer. No, this is, oh, I, I forgot who sticky sang it. Sticky Keyboard? Oh. <laughs> sticky Keyboard. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that's Janelle Monet right there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dirty Laundry. I'm going to tell you, so you know what's funny? If you want to know somebody for real, check their browser. <laughs> oh, ah. Kelly Rowland sings it. I'm oh. telling you. You know what? You ain't going to check no browser. You're going to really. <laughs> Look, see that? You want to really know what they, who, they, who you dealing with? Check their well, browser. They, they got private for that. Incognito. Well, I'm, just, well, I'm just saying, if they will allow you to check it, you know, browser will tell you everything. It'll tell you, cause little quirky If you're a real interest. computer rigs, you can get around that incognito. Mm, true enough. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You How can. you do that? You ain't a computer rig. I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm not either. Yeah, I'm not. I don't I'm even want to know. Incognito. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? People are like, yo, Duke, you can do this. I was like, bro, please don't give me no more. Like, don't give me no more, man. Like, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I can pay somebody to do some some shit I'm already doing. Yeah. And people like, listen, in life, like you were saying, I can learn. I had to realize, man, some stuff I just don't want to learn it. Like, I have a cousin. He's doing Forex, and he's doing Bitcoin. He's like, cuz, sit down with me. I'll sit down with him, and I'll blow a blunt, and I just let him talk. I let him vent. Yeah. And I'm like, and I hit him with a few of those, and I I, I rear back like it was dynamic what he hit me with. Like, he just dropped something on me, and I I come here with it. By the time my blunt is done, and then, you know, I'll be like, cuz, I can't. Because it's, right. too, it's too in-depth, and yeah. I, I want to care intricate. more than I have a natural interest for it. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of people, a lot of financial advisors say the, the risk is too high with Bitcoin. So yeah. it's not okay. a good investment. Yeah, I wouldn't invest in that. Yeah. Well, but I'm I mean, trying you know, to learn little steps, yeah, little, little steps. Yeah, little Forex stuff and just different things like, the, you know, day trading. and Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just too much, you know what I'm saying? So, but editing and videography and, and the whole video aspect of production is something that I'm, I'm definitely, and I, and I, I probably ditched it, probably and dodged it, probably about two years now. Yeah. Oh, it's, hey. it's necessary. Oh, yeah. So if y'all mean. don't mind, um, do you mind if I keep, hold you hostage for a little bit longer? That's you fine. got somewhere to be? No, okay. nowhere to be. Cause my lit conversation is coming up. We're gonna play this song, and I got a question to ask y'all about the bro code. Okay. The next song oh, is man. "Love Is a Choice" by Sunja. Sunja, we lit. Oh, it might be. Love is the most important 
choice that you will ever make in life. Yeah. Better on words till death do us part. So goes the vow we say from our hearts. This is the place where love begins. Where we choose to love with no end. Oh, that was that vibe. That was that vibe. That was lit. What you think? We, we like to say lit or nah. Is that lit? You that know? was definitely lit. I Bet. like that song. Bet. Tony just trying to add extra. We didn't even right. put her in studio for that. I'm in this a whole studio right here. All right, y'all. It's the second favorite part of the show. I mean, you know, we have a great interview right here. But uh, the question is, so I'm, you know, I'll be out and I'll be talking to people and they be having questions. So someone asked me a question and I figured I'd bring it to the table. Um, So this is about the guy code rule. So if two guys are friends and they meet a girl and they're both aggressively seeking the girl, they both met her at the same time, not one met him at the same time or one was dating her. They just they both know about yeah. that, the fact that each one met or they don't know. Pause. Pause. Okay. okay. Um, so they're both um seeking the girl. Who is in the wrong? Is the girl a wrong is the girl in the wrong if she attempts to get to know both of them? Not sexual, just you know, hey, there's one dude, there's one dude, whether they know each other or not, I'm trying to get to know both. Um, or the guy should one step back and step off and let the other one make a choice and have her. So I'm assuming off of that last piece, they both know. They both are actively uh, pursuing this woman and they know each mm-hmm. other pursuing this mm-hmm. woman. No, it's the game. So yeah. whoever wins, wins. That's right. the sport of it. If we playing basketball, just because you up by, by four 
and there's only like point, you know, nine seconds left. Should I stop playing because it looked like you're winning? Yeah. No. Yeah. Play it all the way through till there's no more left. Even when she get married, nigga, the game ain't over. <laughs> okay. I'm your best man, day. and she cheated with me. Oh, what? Your no son, way. My nephew nah, is my see, son. You, you no it to the the game ain't never over. <laughs> The game ends. Nah. The hopefully game she, ends at some point. Hopefully she stress you out. You die faster than she do. Then I fall right in there. Uncle Duke become Daddy Duke. I mean that's one thing. But I'm just saying. <laughs> that, that's a thing that happens. That, that, that can again. happen. I respect that. But I wouldn't play the other game. stuff. I don't know about that. You would just you would just yeah. fall back. No, nah, because I've had moments like that where yeah. you know cat like and I know it's gonna be like oh that shit had it. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, but what if you feel it? Like what if her? I ain't never the first thing. I just met you. I ain't never feeling you that deep. I don't care how awesome I think you are. In that moment, I'm like, fuck. But once I go home, I start blowing and I start thinking about the possibilities of it. It starts balancing up, out. What if you giving up your... Um, <laughs> no, not giving up nothing. Not, that's not who I am. Your blessing. I, okay, if it's my blessing, it's intended for me. She'll go through that murky water and get back to some fresh land. Honestly, like, it's her oh, choice. Yeah. She has that's to... She, she just said what well, she wants to get to know both of the dudes. She got so, the right. She's going to choose which one she liked the best, so you might as well keep but, playing the game. But, exactly, but if she choose wrong... <laughs> Set it long, the, set it wrong. I've had that when the chicks <laughs> chose, cho- chose wrong. Once you choose wrong, you I can't bring go you back. No, you bring me, I bring you back, but I didn't treat you totally different now. Uh, Something uh, kind of I make you pay for it. I, I make you pay for it. Something like that happened to you? Kinda you and your homeboy was going after the same chick? It wasn't Miss Miami, was it? Miami, was it? Nah, did you nah, win? Nah, nah, nah. They <laughs> married now or whatever. So did what? you pop it though? Nah, I ain't get to do none of that. But it's the game to be was rigged fiction. against me because it was like this new girl that moved in town and she moved right next to him. So he was like over there every freaking day. You were supposed to be over there too. I tried to, but he was yeah. next to her. So you I mean, can't beat that. You can't beat next door neighbor. Yeah, yeah. That next door neighbor phone yeah, phone is different. Access. Oh, that different. next door because when you check your mail, you catch it. Be like, all right. yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Then you know it's like it's just different. You can go over any time yeah, of day, man. day after. I had a chick night, like that, like I, school, school. She used to have a little school. boyfriend, but I used to walk her home. We got off the same bus, but when we get to the corner, we split off. So what we do so we could walk and have a walk time. She claimed she don't like riding the bus because too crowded, so she'll get off ahead of time and she'll just walk down. So I claim something so I can walk <laughs> with her. He stays on the bus. I realized right then and there he lost. First thing, I'm funny. Right. You're just an athlete. Okay, if you break your ankle, I'm still funny. Oh, my God. Barely. I've never heard nobody <laughs> losing their voice. You feel me? At that time in my life. So I've seen people break an ankle. Now you're not the athlete no more. Now you're working at Checkers. Oh, man. You feel Why me? you got to work at Checkers? I was Why already working coach? at Checkers. So I've already carved out <laughs> my base level. Oh, like I'm, man. From, I'm from there. It's on up for me. Okay. But if you fall off, you at Checkers. I've already been there and done that. And I'm funny. And I walked the. I got history. I walked at home. Or at least to the split. Because that would be an extra 15 minutes. Then double back. That's 30 minutes. No, too much walking. Again, it's the beginning. I'm not fully committing. But we're going to walk to the split. But I got to know her. And then she kissed me. Then she wound up moving that next summer. But I'm just saying, she just stayed. That, that summer, right? That first summer was good, what? though. That's when I started feeling a tingling in the stomach. Oh, this must have been when you was and young. And the tip started getting a little sticky. Well, he t- already said he was on the bus. Was oh, on the bus. Right. That's yeah. all I was like, was it a school bus? bus yeah. or No, okay. I, I ain't ride school bus. You know, this is a public bus. Uh, public bus, okay. Yeah. But all I'm just right. saying at that time, what I'm saying is, you got to be able to see it through. And then sometimes, I've seen dudes win who did more than I probably would do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's raining. I just think about you, and, you know, I just want to come over here. I was in the area. No, you wasn't. You drove 45 minutes. <laughs> I wouldn't have did that. I would have thought it's raining. It's 45 minutes. But she don't like the rain, and she's nervous about it for whatever quirk or reason. But he went to the furthest extent, brought up flowers, and they wound up dating. It didn't work. But that type of stuff, women see that. But then see me be like, you don't go the extra mile. You're right. You don't. I'm not going to do it. Cause you logically, never gonna do the extra mile. Well, I'm ever? just saying. Well, what I'm saying was, I didn't see the value enough in her to want to do it. Yeah. It wasn't that I'm not gonna do it because when I get in a relationship with the people when I got in a relationship with at the time, I did the extra mile. Oh, I felt I did the extra mile. Oh, I did more than I would normally do. Let's say that. Yeah. You did Duke's extra mile. I did my extra mile. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? You know. Um, but then again, I think some process, uh, processes, just like if you didn't know about credit, no one taught you, you're not gonna handle it well. So some things, some people just didn't teach me. Like, my dad wasn't the guy that opened the door. I mean, one time, my mom was coming in with some bags. The door just cl- closed. I was like, this nigga ain't shit. Damn. And it made me check me. 
You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, when you grow up around certain people, you that's another reason why you have to put yourself in different cultures, learn something new. Yeah. So the baseline grow. is nobody's in the wrong. It's just, you no, know, may the odds be the, forever the, in your favor, the, like Hunger Games. Future yeah. fortune favors the bold. So who's ever bold enough to go the extra mile probably is gonna win with her. Yeah. Because that's what she's looking at. She's looking at who's going who's willing to sacrifice a little bit extra. Or whoever she likes, she oh, likes at the end of the day. Yeah, think, think about that. You know, she if I talk to one of y'all and see, then see that? being with the I'll other be one. using both of you. Oh, like, that too. I can holler at a chick that's, that's, and I'm that's harassing. That's the move right there. He can holler at her and he's charming. Same both conversation, same delivery or pursuit. But because she's not attracted, it's annoying to her. Get out of my face, ew. Why are you touching me? Why yeah. are you even in my space? <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? But as soon as they, like, women don't change from high school to real life. Mm-hmm. High school dance, night nightlife at the club. It's the same shit. I just had the conversation with my It's friend. the same shit. It's no different. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If they like you, you can put your meat on their butt. You know what I'm saying? The dance floor. They'll let you do that. If they don't like you, you can't even walk past close. Right. Like, sir, ew. <laughs> all this space. <laughs> this much space you're gonna be out. You feel what I'm saying? Get on that side of the space. And then women just so like I'm like like women dancing on each other, and I'd be like, okay. And I told one chick, you try to get in the middle. No, 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 no. Because I'm, I'm I'm smoother than that. Okay. But when they would walk, they were because I'm right here, my section here, they're right there. And I told, I leave though. I was like, listen, man, I'm battling on which one I would really want to pursue. So I'm gonna just cut, you know, break it even, and I'll just take both of y'all. And she was just like, what make you that? The other was kind of cool. She was like, she was just doing a little jargon back and forth. But the other one was like super salty. Right. And I was just like, well, it's a joke, man. She was like, well, I'm saying, how dare you go come down here? We women. I was like, y- y'all really like to play victim that bad that you're going to tell well, me. In no, wait, well, no, no, Tony. I wouldn't finish You can't victim. grind on a woman like y'all doing like soft porn. And then if I tell you something of that nature, you tell me, well, this is how we, you can't, look at what you're selling. I just attempted to buy. I didn't touch you. That's I didn't verbally well assault that. you. That's not well. But the fact that you did that in an adult environment, this is not the worst that you can hear tonight. So for her to take it to that extreme, like, come on, knock it off. You're not the victim. But to my point, sir, okay, could you be passionate about your, your women rants? <laughs> yeah, um, I can do that. <laughs> Go ahead. But um, I was going to say, like, when you meet people, when you meet a group of people, a group of women, Specifically, there's mm-hmm. always the different personality. There's gonna be the front furry one, and if right. it's only two, there's one that's really bubbly and one that's really not. It's like that's just how the matter and how we go out. You're not gonna find two bubbly, happy people together that's unless they drunk. Much. That's just too <laughs> much. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's so just you not want to so, so so if you're the bubbly and you got a friend that's bubbly, you just gonna call her when you can find some balance in the group. You know what? It oh, just what so do? happens that um, one of my friends that I do go out, we both are bubbly, but our personalities are different. So. If you like her, you may not like me, and if you like me, you may not like her. But we both have that high energy personality. You know, it's crazy. I've met women like you meet a group of them, and you like, I like her hair or her her style, but her <laughs> conversation is lovely. Right. Yeah. Or I like her. She fine as shit, but I she whack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or the chick over here a little thicker, and I don't really, you know. But man, she let me eat one of her wings. She got a good food selection. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She got the lemon pepper dry. I don't even eat lemon pepper for real. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just for whatever reason, you just got to serve. I think for me, chemistry is major. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Chemistry is major. That's for everybody. Not the... Um, yeah, for me. Chemistry is everything. There you go. Yeah. For us. Yeah. You think, come on. You think the women that's at, at the Hawks game with the high heels on on the front row, you think they care about chemistry? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They trying to get that check. The chick that come in the club and, you know, like... Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't and want the, nobody to frequent the club. Yeah, like you know, I like a, I like a, I like a good quality woman. That like, if you take her in a different time, she probably would wear leggings and slips. Mm. You know, that's good quality woman back then. What? That, come on, don't act like you ain't see your grandma with a slip and leggings on. I mean, it's like some stockings. Oh, my God. I'm saying, y'all back in them days. That was good quality Thank women back then. Thank you so much for letting me hold you hostage and tuning in Thank to my little conversation. Me. Let everybody know where they can follow you, where they can purchase apparel, where they can support you, or maybe get some things printed for themselves. Yes. Well, um, I'm on Instagram at passion over, underscore passion over pain. Um, same for Facebook, passion over pain. Uh, that's my business page. Same for Twitter, passion over pain. Um, and pretty much I'm um, building a new website, but you can still find me on Etsy. 
um, at Passion Over Pain or P O P Store. That store. <laughs> Are you doing your website yourself? Uh, yeah, actually. So it's a it's a it's a struggle, but I like yeah, it because I'm pay learning. Somebody get that website. Ah, uh, yeah. Go that's daddy. Another thing. Go yeah, daddy. Do that. not you do not use GoDaddy. I no, know. I don't want to use GoDaddy. I'm gonna probably <laughs> use. Um, What's the problem with GoDaddy? I heard somebody, someone else don't, saying that. Just, just don't. You got you gotta that. find a, a good name first off, because you don't want it to say your name then Go Big Daddy at the end. Like it's, <laughs> nobody wants that. At GoDaddy. <laughs> but I mean, any website, if you get the free version, it's always gonna say at whoever yeah, free site yeah, no. you're using. You got to pay. You got to put some money in your website. If if nothing else. I say, if you don't put money into anything else, put money in your website. Because when oh, people yeah. see your brand and see what you got going on, it's cool to, like, do it yourself. But your first impression is a lasting impression. Yeah. So your website is something you got to, like, put a little, little, put a little couple of hundred yeah, together. Yeah. Definitely. And get that at least that baseline. And then, like, for me, I had somebody do my website, but I maintain it myself. Right. So, I mean, just. That's how I wanted to be. I want, get, I want a dope site. skeleton real built right. Yeah, that's Find key. somebody that can. Does it, know, doesn't um, um, Facebook have that now with, with, with that or something? Nobody like that? wants a Facebook website. Well, I'm just asking. I mean, yeah. You know, until you I can actually get to that use point, Facebook for something um, as well with through Etsy and this other company, but no, I don't like to put any money through Facebook at all. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Facebook. Why, why is that particular? I had a bad experience um, and I. Because you're opening yourself up to a lot. When yeah, you, if it you was read the contracts and the defined print of Facebook, they got access to your whole so forth. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I don't mess with that because I just feel like uh, I'm cool on that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Facebook do tap into a lot. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's crazy. Really. All right. Mm-hmm. So, thank you again for coming through. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We are going to take pleasure. a... pleasure. We're going to take a quick break and play Fetish by Roto Go. Roto Go. We lit! <laughs>
first sight Look into your eyes Feel my nature rise It came as no surprise You're my prototype So many ways I can show you How it's gonna go down tonight Once I said it all oh, oh, And my fingers wonder I'm gonna make you mine Now read between the lines Just between us two, inhibition's gone. The things together we can do. I'm a sex professional, so we can go all night. In the right by the candlelight, set the mood up just right. We can slip and slide down the paradise. Once I get inside, I'ma blow your mind. Sexy. have a little tony takeover right quick duke always be disappearing it's something about that last little 30 minutes of the end of the show um we were supposed to have another guest but unfortunately they didn't make it here they might be on their way i don't even know y'all you know how we do sometimes you know the lit the lit network we just kind of do some random things up in here you just never know what's gonna happen but shout out to passion over pain um make sure y'all follow um if y'all following our social media platform, she is tagged um, on our flyer. Make sure you follow, shop, you know what I'm saying? Support black businesses. I really, 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 really have this thing where if we really focus on one business in the black community at a time, we can really, really build up our village. I'd be like, people are so stingy with their funds and not wanting to keep and wanting to just keep it for themselves that they forget if you build one at a time, you start with you can even start with yourself. And everybody feeds into you, and then you start with the next person, feed into them, feed into the next person, feed into the next person. Just imagine how a part of the whole black business owners, black entrepreneurs, black children, black everything could really grow as a unit. That would be something phenomenal. So I think that's something everybody should get into, and it's something maybe I may tap into. I'm not sure. But if someone steals the idea, I, I won't hate you for it at all. Um, but it's definitely something that if it doesn't get – moving something i may try to try to work out and work through Imagine myself if they spend all the millions they spend at gucci and all that they spend in our community like that's what i'm difference. thinking like like if you think about like say you had a business and s say if all of our followers just donate you a dollar say we have a thousand followers a thousand dollars in your pocket could get you the next piece of equipment 
or the next class that you want to take or the next l trip. Like maybe you need to do a conference somewhere in another state that you just can't get to that really has some key elements that will teach you the next steps. Like that will be something phenomenal that I really think our black community needs to tap into. We're always sitting here fighting about, you know what I'm saying? This community does this so much in their community. Mm -hmm. This community does this person or, you know what I'm saying? The, the white people, they have, you know, they're trying to hold us down. Nobody really, 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 really is holding us down but oh, ourselves. Yeah. Like, we have so much potential, so much things going on. And, like, our culture, call it what it may be, but our culture is the basis of a lot of things. Like, it's so much that we do that people see us do, and they just take a piece of it and capitalize on it because we're too busy worrying about ourselves instead of building an individual into making it something great. Like, mm -hmm. that is something that we really, really, really got to work on. People, like, I don't understand. If y'all have a business out there and y'all really want to get into some type of a special program, hit hit the Lit Network in the, the DMs, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, however you slide need to do it. Tony DMs. <laughs> don't yeah, slide into my DMs. personal DMs. You will get ignored. No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, shoot um, your shot. <laughs> <laughs> don't, definitely don't shoot your shot. Don't do it. Don't do it. You might. Uh, it's people out there who might come looking for you. I don't know, mm -hmm. but um, don't shoot your shot in my DMs, okay? Don't don't do that, right? Unless you you know rich, then maybe you could try it. If you're a Chris Brown, um, Chris Brown, yes, Chris Brown, the guy that beat Rihanna. That Why Chris is he Brown? only known for the guy who beat Rihanna? Who has he beat since Rihanna? Uh, Him and Rihanna got into an altercation together, and she just lost. Uh, did you see them pictures? Did was you in the car? Did you see them pictures though? It, the whole language around it. I mean, no, no, definitely. You know, what I'm saying, never, ever, ever should you hit a woman. Or, but I, I also believe you shouldn't hit anybody. True. You know what I'm saying? If that was your daughter, though. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a daughter, so I, I don't know. know. But I, I also have the the mindset that if my daughter is out here really like egging people on and hitting people. And just being, you know, real, real out of pocket. There's a retaliation to your actions. Whether it's whether she would have done it with a female, she could have still got the same beat up moment. Like a girl could still beat her that bad. But you gotta, you gotta mind how you are as a person. Yeah, you're going after a guy. Most women go after guys because they know, oh, no guy is supposed to hit me, so I know I can push him. I can touch him. I can da 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 da. Do pe how often do people just be like, all right, I'm gonna walk away? I've done that plenty of times. That's you. I know what gonna happen. That's you. But how often? And they were in the car. Wouldn't so you teach what was your he? Sons that's like, yo, if your girl acting up or stuff like that, just leave. Absolutely, but exactly. that particular case is something different. Like you can't make everybody's case based on what Rihanna and Chris Brown could do. Like Chris, Rihanna is a, a hothead girl. She's an amazing. Well, she's at, at that point. Her. At that point in her life, because they both were young. Now, if you look at them now. I guarantee you if they were together in this moment, that situation wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have. They were young. They were dumb. They were doing some crazy stuff back then. And now, you know what I'm saying, they both, like, realized, oh, dang, we were stupid. Let's just go out here and get this money. Like, they just, you know, young people do young, dumb, stuff, dumb, dumb stuff. things. But still, I knew if I was young that no matter what, never hit a woman. That was, like, always embedded in me. Embedded like, in you. Yeah, from I was young. So no matter what happened, she could be like knocking the sh out of me. But so she, sweet. so she could be like knocking you out and getting your face I all puffy too, and jacked up. You think if I retaliate and the cops come, who you think they you, going? You you definitely up? you're definitely gonna tru in trouble. So that's I mean exactly. I don't advise any man to hit a woman at all because obviously it's never gonna fall in your favor. It doesn't matter what the woman did. But also women, we gotta check ourselves too, our attitudes too. Because I mean. You just never know. You hit the you hit the wrong nerve. Everybody has a moment to black out. Yeah, it's just like you saw that dude, that story about Dave East. Uh uh. So he went to Vegas, he met some girls in the club. He brought them back to his to his room or whatever. They were having a tree sum. One of the girls was like, Oh, he wasn't paying them enough attention, so there was like a huge fight or whatever. I think I did hear that story. I just didn't know that it was about him. I, I did hear a story like that. That is a mess up. Did you hear? I was scrolling through. Um, <laughs> I was scrolling through um, Instagram and uh, Derek. What is his name? Derek Jackson was going in on. Uh, Who's that? 
uh, you know Derek Jackson, who's always like giving the the, the women advice or whatever. He's yeah, always I'm like following. critiquing videos. Them fake IG inspirational persons. The, well, he, he, I, you know, there's a lot of people who like him. There's a lot of people who don't. So it really just depends on how you feel. I believe some some of the stuff he says is you know kind of cool, but some of the stuff is a little little drawn out and dramatic. Oh, yeah. But um, they um have they had posted about um there was a Virginia kid that said that um white kids cut his dreads for um yeah yeah I saw that with like he let them hold him down or whatever right but he came out and said it was fake he said he falsified it. Really? Yeah. So Derek Jackson puts up a post <laughs> and say um to say that uh Jesse Smollett was um he was being um it was following basically the Yeah, he was he was setting a trend, plot. trend setting. <laughs> I couldn't even get my words out. Yeah, they said he was trend setting. And so um of course Jesse came back on and was like, uh, my story is true. Y'all are being falsified. It's all, you know, y'all are getting fake news and believing it. Y'all are just listening to the media, but my story has never changed. Jesse's still out here talking. Yes, because he's still going through it. What? He brought that on himself, though. He's still going through it. Nah, he's stupid for that. Like, he should have stayed far. No social media, no nothing. Just lay low for, like, the next five years. The next five years. So he should just chill on his. (laughs) His empire money, basically. Well, the lack of it. So you're saying he should have never got in the situation out. So what if it is true, though? Like, what if it's true and two you dudes think that is set true in Chicago? I, I've never been to Chicago. I don't know what Chicago is like. And late at night, I've cold. never been to Chicago in the cold. I don't know to what it's like. Go get Subway. Nah, that whole story sounds fake. It's not my but favorite. But fake or not, what if by chance, by a whim of a chance, it's true? Then what? I don't believe it. You can't even get your mind to try to think about believing it. Who be, who be walking around with noose? I mean, just throwing it around people's necks and stuff like that, throwing bleach on people. Uh, maybe they seen him. Maybe he seen this. They had watched his pattern a little bit. They knew he was gonna come out. Plus, in the African days, that they were like, "Oh yeah, he put us up to it or whatever." It depends because it's going back and forth. Some people say they said they they were being put up to it. Then they was like, "No, they conspired by themselves." There's like a whole bunch of different stories along that line. I don't know. I don't know. I don't believe that though. I just. They were saying he wasn't getting enough money or whatever, but I don't know. <laughs> if y'all are watching the live stream or listening or whatever, let me know what y'all think about that story. If y'all are really following or we just like, we just don't even care. We don't even care what happens. If he, you know, he did it, he did it. If he didn't, he didn't. If, is it one of those things where we just like, you know what? And whatever. Yeah. And R.I.P. to Ox. Who was that? Have you ever watched Belly? Yeah. By Shaka? Yes. The guy that you know, Ox. No, well, I'm supposed to know what it is. The Jamaican dude that was like, I gotta, sh- I was like, I have to show you a picture of him. He was like, take the lead and you got the what? Oh, like that, th- that was on like the street corner when they pulled up in the car. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he passed away in a car accident yesterday. So I R.I.P. Uh, to him. Oh, I did not even know that. One, I, I didn't know his name. You know, when you watch Belly, I was watching for <laughs> DMX, okay? I but he was like a major know. role in Belly, though. He was like I know, but I didn't know his name like that. He was that. the one that I brought, like, DMX to Jamaica and everything. And was like I, I was, again, watching for DMX, okay? That's, that, that's <laughs> who I was there for. <laughs> that's what I was in it for. I'm sorry. Matter of fact, I still love me some DMX. Like, I understand he done went through his struggle, but he is coming out clean He's me. He's coming back. And he is really pulling through. So, I, I still, you know, <laughs> we still got a chance. I'm, I'm a ride or die for him. On that new Kanye album, hopefully. Oh, my goodness. We're going to take a little break. I'm going to try to locate Duke at least for the last 15 minutes. We're going to play Fight With Me by Tsunami. Tsunami? Tsunami? Fight With Me. Do we got Fight With Me? Alright y'all. We lit cause Duke finally back. Damn. I don't know why these hoes wanna fight me. Some of them won't dike with me, then they won't fight me. So now I'm pick one. Pick a side room. Red chip token to nine.
And we back. Not all of them. There's <laughs> one. I think it's this one, right? Like, find find the one. That's it. And I think that's the it. One. You be turning up all the knobs. I think that's it. Yeah, I got to remember which one it is. Get your whole yeah. life together. And we're back. As promised, I found him, y'all. Y'all know Duke be disappearing. I don't know where he be going, but he oh must God. got like a little side pocket or something. He be going out there to see. You got your little side thing that be pulling up? No, nah, no. Nah. It got to have a main thing to have a side thing, and that, that I don't have. I don't have a you main. You have a other. main side thing. <sighs> that's why they call it a side, because you got something in front of you on the mainstay. And then you the main. Your comedy is the main. <laughs> your business is the main. So that's you, funny. Your girl would be the side thing. Yeah, I guess. If, that's, if, if you look at it like that, yeah. I'll tell you how you try to put logic to it, to my whole hookup. But no, nah, I don't have a side woman. I don't have a main woman. You know, I really don't like side women, to be real with you. I don't like cheating. It's, it's just not okay. It's not fun. There's not nothing that is like a thrill about it. You know, I prefer to find someone and then be cool and don't have to cheat. Because I don't know how to cheat. That's true. Once I break off and do that with her and I like it, get off of me. <laughs> you know, like trying to cut. black co- men don't cheat, right? Well, I'm just saying. Well, I don't know. I ain't going to agree with that. Everybody <laughs> cheats. But I don't like it because I just don't know how to balance. Like, I'm such a forward person. I don't know how to hide my feelings. And I don't know how to. You Especially don't want to catch feelings for two girls at the same time. I just can't do it. No, I have feelings for two girls, but I can't be committed to one. You see what I'm saying? Like I can't, I can't be committed to one and then try to have an exclusive relationship with that person, but then be trying to creep around and do something. But if I'm single, I can like her and like what we have together, and then on another day or maybe at another time of the day, like this one and what we have together, I can do that. But you know, I'm not gonna cheat on somebody because I don't want nobody to cheat on me. You know, we could be up front and say, hey, it's not working out. And I, mean, I may not like it, but I had to process that reality and then roll with that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't agree with cheating. All right. Dude, what you got going on this week? Mm, let me see. Tomorrow we got, um, we got, we had View Lounge, 9 o'clock. Um, Tomorrow. DJ, yeah, Tuesday night, 9 o'clock. Uh, oh DJ Ado, you know, myself. Um, hopefully I have some good friends. Want to come out and parlay with me a little bit? There's some jokes. You can really tell who your friends are when you're trying to build something from the ground. Of course, of course, you know, you know. And then what happens is, people who you, you don't know, they just see the grind and they respect it. And sometimes that grind reflects what they are and what they're about, or it may reflect what they're inspired to be. So they want to be around you because they want to figure out how can they do in their own fashion what you're doing in your own fashion. So you know, um, have it come, long as it's sincere and you, you're not a burden in any kind of way. I, I, you know, I welcome it all. Um, I take that over fake love any day, you know. And, and I think what happens is when people know you, you know, like I put a post out earlier about letting people know, hey, I'm trying to get production equipment, and you know, if you can donate on my cash app. Two people have donated so far. I haven't checked it, but two people have donated so far. So the uh, same people that donated on Duke's cash app, can you donate on mine, please? <laughs> the so same two people. That, that's that's rude. That's like it's my birthday, and you're like, oh, what about me? Your birthday is not here you yet. You do that all the time to me. Your birthday is not here Every yet. Every time I be somewhere, you be like, where's my plus one? So where's my cash app too? I don't have the vagina, Tony. W- vagina Buy one, wins. Duke. 
vagina wins. There's you fake ones out there all over. We just had a whole no. conversation about it. Just buy one. No, I would have to hock my penis, and I'm not into that type of thing. I mean, you can mold it. You know, the, the sex industry <laughs> is a billion-dollar industry. No, I'm not Go ahead and get you a Duke mold. Uh, not the Duke that. D? Come on, I everybody like buying the Duke penis. D. I like this one. I'm cool with it. I'm totally fine with it. And a few ladies love it. So A few, wow. a few ladies. Take that back. Only one or two. That's a couple. One or two? Maybe the third one she come in time. I don't know. So it's, two, so it's two and a possible. Let's not get into what I do, okay? When I'm not on the air. Okay, let's not do that. You put it out there. you know. I just anyway. Got, I just got questions about it, but you're right. Once again, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Shout out to the guests that came in here. Remember to support her, Passion Over Pain. Follow, support, tweet, retweet, resend, whatever Buy you a do. shirt. Buy a shirt. A hoodie. Wintertime coming. You want the long sleeve shirt. Fall time about to kick in. It's festival season and your fairs and things. So, you know. Get Send some money to Duke's Cash App and my Send Cash money, App. Yep. Um, we're going to post those up on the Lit Network. And this, really I'm, hey, the I'm going to say this before we leave. When you helping people who are sincere, I can promise you, you're going to see the manifestation happen right in front of your face. These right people who are asking, asking for donations, you know, you're just going to see more being produced. You know, Tony and, 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 and what she's doing, myself and what I'm doing, a lot of things that we're going to do together, even in this, uh, this show, the Lit Network. You know, you're just going to see a lot. We go to work just like you. Like, we're going to leave, go home, we're going to get up by 7, we're going to fight through traffic, we're going to try to hit the gym. We Regular people like you, uh, we may be doing a little bit outside of the norm. We're trying to reach a little bit further. But, you know, if you're willing to just let God use you and your bank account, okay, you know, we can take a couple dollars. It don't have to be big, but just a few dollars, you know, a little lunch money type thing. And while you donate, always remember, today, tomorrow, and always stay living in today's time because... We lit! <laughs> It's lit, it's lit. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, it's lit, it's lit, and like it ain't lit. L I T T, L I T T, and like it ain't lit. Yeah, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit, and like it ain't lit. L I T T, L I T T, and like it ain't lit. Yeah, we lit, 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 yeah, we lit. Yeah, we lit, yeah, we lit, yeah, we lit, yeah, we lit. it's lit. Cut the radio up, grab the phone when the live on. This the latest station in the...